What is up party people? We are going to talk the AM token. But today, you know, I had off today. But even having the day off, I didn't, you know, I tried to get something done and I couldn't get it done. So I was trying to transfer my number from track phone to Mint Mobile. And, and track phone is just a pain in the ass. I've had track phone for over 15 years and you know, it was good because I have one number that I only use for certain for work. And they recently, they decided to sell the company to Verizon as a result Everything's jacked up. Everything's messed up. Everything's crashing, dying. It's no good. So I decided to switch that number to Mint Mobile. And every I, I started today at 6 a.m. Now it's 7, well, it's almost 8. It's almost 8 p.m. And it didn't get transferred. And now TrackPhone is telling me that I tried too many times and now I have to wait 24 hours. I've called them and all that crap. So it's been a shitty day with the folks at TrackPhone, which is now Verizon. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about the AMP token. So when you guys are watching this video, the team is probably already at consensus. So we're gonna have Flex the Network there. We are gonna have the Ampera Foundation there, and they are gonna talk about all the stuff they are working on. What I wanna talk about is something interesting, something that I really like, something that's making me bullish. We have now two separate entities, Flex Network, and Ampera. And Ampera is taking one approach. And they are focusing now on the DeFi sector. How can we how can we cater the AM token to DeFi using collateral or other business tools like the letters of credit? So it looks like the Ampera Foundation is going to be focused on education and DeFi, getting people to start using the AM token as collateral which then means Flex Network will still focus on merchants. But it seems like things have changed a little bit, like the model has changed. Initially, it seems like it was going to be business to consumer type of thing. But again, that is a major undertaking. That is not something that's easy to do. Why? Because let's say you could create, you create the best product out there. If you can't market it, it ain't gonna go nowhere. I remember my marketing teacher once told us, it isn't the best product that wins in the end, it's the one that's better marketed. So think about that. So it seems like Flex and Network has shifted in their business model. Before, they were trying to work business to business and business to consumer, but that's tricky because you can't build and market. You know, if, you're, if you start to market more, you're taking away from the building money. You don't have an infinite amount of money. So what I see happening is the creation of white labels. Again, I'm not an insider at Flux and Network, but I'm starting to see the creation of white labels. And what I mean by white label is they can continue building their products and all they have to do now is market it to companies and the companies can slap their name on it as if it is their own you know, it's their own product. Negotiant, in the wine world, we call them negotiants, where someone grows the, the grapes, someone crushes the grapes, someone makes the wine, someone puts it in the bottle, and then someone just slaps the name at the end and calls it their own. Marta Stewart, I think, does that. Snoop Dogg does that. So if you ever see one of their wines, then, then you guys know it's not really theirs. They just slap their name on it. But this might be a better business model for the Flexa network because now they are just going to focus on creating products, on marketing to one entity. For example, if you want this company to use the Flex Network, you cater to them. Whereas before, you still have to build and now you got to cater to individuals, a bunch of individuals, and that's a huge undertaking. So what I think is happening now is we have to start shifting our mentality. There's a lot of people who support the AM token, but think it is about revolutions. And what I mean by revolution is that they think that we are out here to destroy Visa, to destroy MasterCard, to destroy PayPal. And I'm starting to think 
Flex and Network is shifting so that they are working with Visa, so they are working with MasterCard, so they are working with PayPal, and even with Stripe. And some of you guys might say, Voltron, you're crazy. Think about it. NCR, which is a partner of Flex and Network, they aren't. They didn't just pick one company. They work with both Mastercard, Visa, American Express. So if NCR does that, why can't Flex the Network? Again, Visa has the customers. Mastercard has the customers. So they did all the marketing to get people to use their product. Now Flex the Network can come in and start giving Visa given MasterCard, given PayPal, Stripe, any company, options for digital currency and guaranteeing that if a transaction occurs, it'll be fraud proof, instant and final. Again, I'm not an insider at the Flex Network, but it's something that I think is happening. Anyway guys, what do you think? Until next time, peace out, safe investing.